Hello everybody and we are talking about Fort McAllister State Park's soldiers that occupied this fort 155 years ago. We are portraying soldiers of the 1st Georgia Regular Infantry that stayed and were eventually sent up to fight William Tecumseh Sherman in North Georgia. I'm portraying a soldier that would be more akin to 1861 and 1862. I'm wearing a Georgia State frock coat and matching trousers with military rogans. My cap is called a cappy because it is based off of the French headwear of the time. The United States and Confederate States alike like to um, base their uniforms off of European styles. And this was one example that was very prominent. Although a lot of soldiers would eventually wear a civilian hat from home because it protected them better from the elements. I have a lot of items that are very crude copies of the United States uh, Armed Forces with a cartridge box on the right hip, cap pouch right beside that, a haversack made from home, and a militia style canteen made of wood. Not as durable as the Yankee tin canteens, and the Confederates would make their own tin canteens. But early in the war, wood was easy to find. On my back is a British import knapsack. These were very common throughout the war with the Confederacy, but as it is so heavy and so uh, cumbersome, it's better to just roll up my extra clothes in a blanket and sling it like my counterpart over here. This would be what the first Georgia would generally look like when they went off to face Sherman in 1864 with a shorter jacket, more simplified uniform, and even some captured federal gear.